Hey guys, it's Becca Switzer with Roof Sales Mastery, getting ready to go out for sushi ooh, 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 for my birthday with my friends. And uh, I had an analogy that I wanted to share with you guys today. I had this idea because earlier I was talking to a business owner and we were talking about the concept of why it doesn't work for you as a manager or a business owner to just teach the brand new people that you hire what you do. In your head, you're like, hey, here's how you sell roofs. Here's exactly what I do and say, just copy me. And then you wonder why so many people don't succeed, fail, quit, have mediocre results, just get confused, overwhelmed, whatever. So I wanted to talk with you guys about that today in an analogy that I think will actually click. So I'm a woman. What is a woman these days? <laughs> right? Anyways, and I have been doing makeup. For a long time i'm not a pro but let's pretend that i am okay i've been wearing makeup since i was probably like 14 years old something like that and for me it's pretty easy right so you're a guy you've probably not really done makeup that often if at all right and so if i said to you hey bud you're going to become a makeup artist this is how you're going to make your money now all you have to do is watch me do my makeup and then just copy exactly what I do, and that's it. <laughs> and you watch me go ahead and do mine, right? <laughs> and then at the very end, I'm like, cool. That's how I do it every single time. I'm obviously really good at it. <laughs> So just copy what I do and you'll be fine. And then I let you loose in Sephora. What's gonna happen? I just hand you my makeup bag and I say, okay, get started. Do you guys even remember what I did with this? For those of you who got cocky, I didn't even use this one. How did I use this? Where did this go? Where did, what did I use for this? Have you guys seen the videos? I'll probably edit one in here. But if you've ever watched those videos where like a boyfriend tries to do his girlfriend's makeup, like she's like, just do what I do. And it's just an absolute disaster. Beautiful. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna get some eyeliner. We build the ring upwards. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't put your teeth in, put them back in. Kiss it. Yeah, smoky eye. Oh. Well, take that and then look at all the micro steps that go into here. Maybe if you even remembered like partially some things, you're like, I know she used that thing on her eyebrows. Okay, what shade? Which product? Which brush was I using? Okay, like, what did I use this one for? Or was it this one? <laughs> okay, like, which foundation did I use? This? Was it this? Was it this? <laughs> There's so many things, right? There's so many parts of it. So my whole point here is this. Even if I'm good at doing makeup and even if I show you exactly what I do and I just tell you to copy me, you're not gonna get it right. And it's gonna take you a really long time. And teaching people the sales process is the exact same thing. You can't just say, Hey, new guy, follow Tom around. Tom's really good at this. Just do exactly what he does. If you do what he does, it's gonna work for you. It's not true. That's not how it works. They need to be taught with a formal classroom style sales training that involves reading, practicing, role, role playing, studying, memorizing. Okay, so it's all there in black and white for them. And then we can start having fun with the palettes, okay? Then we can start introducing, hey, watch what this person does, they're a pro. So I hope that that makes sense for you guys today. If you're a business owner and you've been struggling to train and retain salespeople, please check out either my all-inclusive business owners package or at least my new hires training program. That's going to be your classroom style setting training that you'll deliver in five days. Okay. The first three days are only four to six hours tops. The last two days are like two hours. That's all you have to do. You let them loose. And then from there, of course, you provide ongoing training and sales meetings, stuff like that. So I hope that that analogy helped you guys and helped you click because I know a lot of you out there just like, I don't get it. I'm really good. And this guy's really good. And our sales manager is the best salesperson I've ever met. And we're trying to just have our guys follow and copy what they do, but it's just not working out. 
That's why it's not working out. It's because you guys can't do my makeup off of what I just did for you and they can't copy the sales training method or your sales method and get the same results, okay? So check the link in the uh, caption here. I'll direct you to the new hires training program so you can check that out and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.